Public Health and Society is a program of the University of Southern California. We're part of the Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism, and we're housed in the Norman Lear Center. We're a bridge between the entertainment industry and the public health community, and we're adding climate change to our portfolio now. When you go yourself and see the story, you really take away something more than simply just hearing it. So a little bit of a background. About 80% of the housing in, um, in South LA was built before 1978, which was the year that lead paint was banned in use in housing. Well, we do a dust wipe sample of the home to see how much lead is in the home. Um, we have zero tolerance for lead. We don't need it. We don't want it in our community. So we want to empower the, um, the families and not use the children as lead detectors. So we actually have organizers who go door to door and talk to people about their housing conditions. Um, sometimes people will think that their housing is all right. Mm -hmm. um, they'll say, you know, I just moved here and I don't have any problems. And so we have to, organizers are really trained to sort of pick up on cues and really have their eyes peeled for indicators in the common spaces. If there's a child that has a, a blood lead level that's very high, we um, take samples of the chipping and peeling paint. Um, we ask a lot of questions of the occupations, what does the family do for a living, do they do construction? Just because you see a problem or you know that there's a problem, you have to respect the individual. You have to come down to their level even though they may even know the things that you're telling them, but sometimes circumstances and situations overpowers people. And I can show you in real dollars right now, $7,500 per home, I can eliminate all the lead hazards in that home. And thus, those kids get a future and they don't end up in prison. At St. John's, we call these conditions collectively slum housing disease. And that can include uh, conditions like asthma, um, cockroaches or insects in the ear, um, lead poisoning, skin rashes, also associated with stress and depression. And sometimes when we talk about roaches, we kind of link, you know, that you're dirty, that you're filthy, but we work with a lot of families that their homes are immaculate. I mean, it's, it, it's just very clean, but it's the condition of the building that is just impossible for them to do it on their own. Uh, there was one particular case where we had bed bugs, cockroaches, mice. Uh, they were having a party, and we were just their guests, I suppose. Uh, and the, the, the individual, they slept on the floor. They had um, a year, 14 month old baby. So every time someone moves out, they fix that house, they paint it, or do their cosmetic work. All the roaches come to me, all the rats, they come to me, and I have to deal with getting rid of it. Or I get sick behind it, my son gets sick behind it. Pues ha cambiado mucho mi vida con respecto a la salud, porque acá con la señora Maribel, pues nos reeducó, ¿verdad? So this, is, this program has really changed my life, and particularly my health, because um, of the re-education she has received. You know, what impacts is this problem, or, or is this system having on your life, right? So we really um, work with USC and other research institutions to bring um, the science, right, that covers these stories that these people have. And then finally, um, we tie that to, to the action, right? What are you going to do about it?